Hey, it's Joseph here. Today I'm in my daughter's room because I wanted to do something here. First of all, I wanted to show you these two products from Flare. They have sent me these two devices quite a while back, but I haven't got around doing so. Now, finally, I am. Sorry about that. But I'm excited to show you that this is a smart vent and this is a puck that goes with it. And that is the problem. And you can see that it is kind of covered halfway. And the reason for that is because this room is the closest room to the HVAC unit we have up in the attic, right above the ceiling here. My home does have damper for separating the first floor and the second floor, so it should kind of solve some of those problems. But because this room has the shortest run of ducts reaching here, in comparison to the other rooms that are on the ends of the home means that this room is going to receive temperature change the fastest. So whenever you need to cool the home, then the AC is going to kick in the fastest here and the strongest. And also if you're trying to heat up the home, then this room is going to heat up the fastest and the strongest. The first course of action was to close the vent a little bit. But if you do that, you actually introduce a lot of wind noise, if you will, and it was quite bothersome, especially at night. But it also didn't really effectively lower the amount of airflow within this room or this vent. So the temporary measure that we have done to the vent is to cover the vent halfway with duct tapes. I guess that's suitable use, right? And then the half of the vent is open but redirected to the wall so that you don't get as much heat or cooling directly onto whomever in this room, mostly my daughter. And as a proof of concept, it works. And it was a temporary measure we've done in summer days. Now we are in winter. I think we want to do a little bit better job than just taping up and redirecting air. So now we want to approach this problem properly with smart solutions. So the idea is that we're going to install this vent over there where it is going to control the amount of airflow based on the temperature being measured in this room. So I've got these two units which is saying 6 by 12 which is the size of the opening. You can figure that out by opening that vent and looking inside and you've got to make sure you order the right one. And this puck here is going to monitor the temperature in this room and dictate whether it is going to be opening this vent versus closing it. As far as the packaging goes, it says smart vent, the perfect temperature in every room, room by room temperature control. And as I have said, it does say six by 12. And on the side, it does state a couple of things, completely wireless installation, runs for ears and batteries included, optional wired configuration using standard 24 volt AC, industry standard steel with durable powder coated finish, and replaces vents in floors, walls, and ceiling. Easily paintable if you wish to do that. Temperature and pressure sensors for safe operation and diagnostics. Installs in minutes. And onto the other side, it does say the sizing is 6 by 12 refers to the size of the opening the vent goes in. So it's not the size of the vent, it is actually the opening. So you got to make sure that you open up your vent to see the size of the opening, which I have verified it is 6 by 12. And inside of this packaging, you've got the smart vent and two of the C cell batteries and then two of the mounting screws. And it does require forced air central heating or cooling and then at least one flare puck, which I have, and then Wi-Fi with internet connectivity and a mobile device, tablet or desktop computer for the setup process. And you've got different sizes of vents that are available. And there are different type of configuration available here. But what I fit in is the top row here. I have a single thermostat, although it is not really a smart one, that's okay. And I'm trying to fix a single room that overheats or overcools. So I need one puck and the one vent, which is what I have. And this thing works with apps from Google Play or App Store. And it integrates with Nest, Honeywell, Ecobee, Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, and works with the Nest as well. In my case, I'll be working with Google Assistant. So that works for me. So let's go ahead and open up the box. 
So this is pretty expected, the actual vent. So we've got the actual vent and a couple of accessories here. This one is some sort of battery holder and then the screws and then the two batteries. And then in this packaging, we've got the actual vent with the installation guide and you can see the vent is very nice and we've got the fins back here. It's currently closed. I suppose you install the batteries and get it going and I'll kind of go through this. You can see that installation guide is also available online and if you wish to you can install it wire which is all available 24 volt AC which is on the back of this thing right there. And you can get the faceplate off by unscrewing these two and I'm gonna have to insert the battery so I'm gonna do that here. Okay, the faceplate is off and this one was set to install first. So you've got to do something like this. So this is effectively the back side. Flip it over, put the batteries in. It says that these batteries are gonna last a long time. I'll have to see how long it actually lasts, making sure that it, this is right orientation the positive side here and the negative side shown there. And this says install second and also making sure the arrow is facing up, matching this arrow here. Oh, as soon as I did that, it just opened up the vent. Cool. I am starting with the fresh new battery. Hopefully it will last a long time and I don't have to worry about it for quite a while. But if I need to replace the battery, I can just undo the face plates and then reinstall another set of battery here. So let's put that on the side and look into the puck. So for the puck, there's a name, wireless thermostat smart AC remote. And here it does say wireless thermostat, use a puck as a wireless thermostat with flare smart vent. And you can combine with the central system with smart thermostat vent and the puck is gonna talk to it. Room by room temperature control, rooms adjust to the occupant's preference, eliminates temperature imbalance, which is a condition that I have, or you can use it as a smart AC remote, but that's not the condition that I'll be using this as. Nice sunglasses on it. So here's the power adapter and the puck itself in the accessory box. Couple of things in here. Two batteries are included and here's a weird sticker and the power cable. Let's unwrap this, do a little peel. So as far as the puck goes, there is a bit of a dial that you can turn and you can press this to open it, insert the battery, put it back on, or I suppose you could use this cable. So you can either plug the cable in there, you can see, or have the battery. In my case, for the cleanest setup, I'm gonna try with the wireless and see how long it lasts. And I have the battery door, so close that and then this is the other door or I guess you kind of push that to make it stand up. That's kind of neat and it's already showing me stuff. Turn on so I can use this as a dial. Oh, this is an e-ink which means it's going to take very little electricity when it is working. So I like that this is using e-ink, home, mode, settings, status. IR setup. Oh, I press it to home temperature. Currently 76. So I push in to make it work. Settings. Okay, I'm gonna make a gateway. Yes. Gateway switch in progress. Okay, I have configured it as a gateway and I'm gonna download Flare app. So I suppose for a gateway, you have to plug it in as opposed to using just the battery. 
I've just connected the USB power. Okay, it shows the temperature. Yes, finish. Mine is Honeywell, forced air. Finish set up. So that's now all set up. The thermostat is showing 74 and it is set to 72. And I just heard that the vent has closed. It is working. It is 74 and set to 72, therefore the vent closed. So now I actually need to go mount the vent and place this puck correctly. If you were to mount it onto the wall, you can use this against the wall and the screw. However, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it on the table with the cable connected. So yeah, let me go ahead and do that. And just to kind of show you, this is what the vent currently looks like. You can see that I have covered it halfway with the duct tape and then use this clear plastic to kind of redirect the air towards the window. Typically, window is where you have the most amount of energy loss, so you don't want to direct airs to the window. However, in this case, I was trying to waste it, so that kind of makes sense. So last time I have opened this one up, I was rained on with the drywall dust, so I'm gonna be careful, and I got my shop vac just in case. And then all I need is a screwdriver. I'm using this electric screwdriver that I kind of showed on my channel before. I'll leave the link in the description. Otherwise, I just need to install main unit and then the faceplate. First of all, the plastic cover is sort of magnet thing that attaches and then it does adjust. So it was quite useful. And then now I can access the screws. It's just held with two screws. It's quite simple to undo. Electric screwdrivers are so handy. It doesn't require a huge amount of force to turn these screws, but these things are darn long. So it takes a long time to unscrew, especially when you're trying to stretch your arm out. And there was a little bit of dust, so let me vacuum that up. And then I'm gonna install this one up using the same screws. Now that is on, time to put on the faceplate. Make sure the orientation is correct. Quite simple. So there you go. So currently it is 67, but it is set to 65. I don't know if you can tell, but the air vent is now closed. So set it to 70 and currently it's 65. So it should now open up. So there you go. I don't know if you can see, but it has now opened up. So now you can see the vent has been configured and it follows the temperature that I have set on the puck. And now this room is individually configured in terms of temperature. If you have enjoyed this content, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of content. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.